All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from 7th Season Studios, and this week's tutorial comes from us from one of our Facebook fans in the Affinity Designer Complete Guide to Affinity Designer work group. All right, so the question we have is how can I make this winged logo, right? And now this is fairly simple. I'd say on a scale of difficulty, on a scale of 1 to 5, it's about a 2. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first thing I did is I created a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel workspace and I brought out my symbols panel. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw two ellipses. So we're going to go ahead and draw one. I'm going to hit control J to duplicate another one. And then I'm going to offset them slightly. Now what I'm looking for is a point here. And I want that point to kind of be a bit tapered. All right, so I got a point here and I got a point there. Select them both and let's perform a subtraction operation. All right, that gives us a crescent moon shape. Now, let's go ahead and create the symbol. And now what we're going to do, holding Alt, you're going to hold Alt, and we're going to drag out another instance of this. Now Alt drags it out. We're going to shrink it down. And we're going to tilt it in. All right. Release the Alt. Now, you're going to hit Control J. Watch what happens. That is how you get that winged effect. So you see here now down in the layers area, we have a bunch of symbols. You want to go down to the original symbol now. And now if you adjust that symbol, it adjusts all the rest. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and bring in the affinity symbol. Now you've got this in your downloads. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab it from another piece of art that I've got here. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to paste it into my design. And I'm going to come over here to my color picker. I'm going to grab my color picker and I'm going to grab a color of blue out of the affinity logo. I'm going to come down to my symbol. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with a gradient. So on this side, let's go ahead and pop that gradient in there. Now we can just go ahead and do that. All right. Cool. All right. Now that'll work. Now if you wanted to make it white, you certainly could. I'm going to go ahead and keep it just like this. And now, here's something really cool you can do with it, right? Check this out. Grab your original symbol, double click, and now begin to drag the symbol around. Look at all the stuff you can do with it. That's kind of neat. And then you can always bring it back and reposition it. All right, so once you got this thing the way you want it, here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to group them so that I can use them as a group. And then I'm going to control J to duplicate the group. And then I'm going to flip the group over. And let's go ahead now and give this affinity symbol some wings. Now this can be pretty cheesy here, but I think it's kind of a neat effect. So if you don't like it, go do your own thing. All right, we do that part there. All right, so that is exactly how you can use symbols and the power of duplicate to create an affinity logo with wings. Now let me show you something else. We'll go for bonus points one more time now. Let's go here. I'm going to grab those wings. We're going to duplicate them. And now with those still selected, let's go ahead and shrink them down a little bit. And now let's move them down to the bottom here. All right, so that's a little bit on how you can use Power Duplicate in addition to a gradient fill with the symbology to create this logo. Now, if you don't like those, you can always take them. Oops, let's not do that and delete them out of there. All right, so I hope you learned a little something. I hope you learned how to use some tools. If you like this and you want to know more about Affinity Designer, check out our course below. Affinity Designer, the complete guide to Affinity Designer. You can get it here for $20.
It is 14 hours. It is the most comprehensive affinity designer course out there on the market. All right, folks. Hope you learned a little something. We'll see you in the next ones. Have a great weekend.